Hi guys, PJ here, today with, well, a bit of a different sort of car video. I frequently get asked the question, do I come across any bodgers, problems, or stuff that's not really feasible to do? Well, the answer is yes, I get quite a lot, so if there's any interest in this, I'll start uploading some of the, shall we say, DIY failures that I come across, which is pretty frequently. Today, I'm in a Mini, okay? And... This job was basically booked in for me as a description of it's got a double din in an old Mini. Now, Minis do not have the space for a double din, so I was wondering how it had been accomplished. Well, that's how it's been accomplished. Sticky tape. But let's have a look at the actual dashboard on this. Interesting. We have a couple of strips of metal, some wood screws, some number plate screws, well, sort of number plate screws, and the whole lot sort of flaps around and wobbles everywhere to make room for the radio. Quite an interesting conversion, I'm sure you'll agree. There's a lot of damage to the dashboard been done to get this all to fit. It's not something I would recommend at all. Now, you've got to think to yourself, you know, if the car's in an accident, is the dashboard going to come flying apart? Yeah, most definitely. So, um, at the moment, not quite sure how I'm going to make this you know, sort of safe as it were. Probably devise some sort of bracketry screen to sort of hold it all together. But um, yeah, guys, there you go. There's a failure of how to put a double din in a mini. Like I say, I'll keep these videos really short and if there's any interest, I'll upload plenty more, shall we say, DIY challenges. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.